I found on AliExpress power strip with built-in energy meter. So right here I have it. Let's unbox it and test it. If it works, how it works, what are its functions, what it can measure and if it is worth buying. So let's open it. This is how it looks like. There are different options with different number of sockets to buy. Right here I have a version with five sockets, but you can buy less, you can buy more. And interesting feature is that the cable is not built in. We select what cable we want to receive. Of course, output of the cable is this, and we can select the input on the cable. Right here I have European version, but when you are buying this device, you can select what cable you want to receive. And it's a nice feature that you can disconnect the cable. We have a button to power on and power off the sockets and the device. And we have right here the screen that should show us all the information about the electricity, voltage, current, power, kilowatt hours, and I think even more things. And we will see it when I return it on. And here is a backplate that information we have right here. So let's power it and test if it is working. The lamp is shining and we have informations 239 volts, 0 watts. We have also temperature. So if it would overheat from too big current, we would see that it is overheating. We have amperes, we have time, how long the devices work and kilowatt hours. And we have one single button to control everything. If I press it one time, we have power factor, additional information. If I press it second time, we go back to kilowatt hours. And if I hold it, we have option to reset the values. Now it's time blinking that I can reset it. And now kilowatt hours are blinking. And if you double press, it resets the value. And I think that you hold it again to go back with resetted values. To test if it correctly measures the power, I've prepared two items that I know what power to expect from them. The first device has two power modes and it should consume around 225 watts on the first mode and around 450 watts on the second mode. Not exactly up to one volt, but around those value it should be. And the second device should consume around 400 watts on the first mode and around 800 watts on the second mode. So let's connect them, see if the value on this meter will be similar to the expected value. Right now it is on the first mode and 215, 16 watts. So around the expected value because the expected value is not a perfect value that should be. It should be around this value. So you can see it is as expected. Let's go to the second mode. 443 watts. So as expected, it is showing the correct value. Let's connect the second heater and let's see if I will have 400 watts on this meter. And 414 watts, 410, 408. So this is the correct value that I expected. And the second mode, 814 and 813, 808. It also is correct to what I expected. And let's turn on both devices at the same time. And 1200 watts we have right now. So everything is correct. And when turn off, zero watts. So I know that it measures correctly. I don't know how precise is this measuring because it may be a few percents off in some direction, but uh, for estimated values, uh, I can confirm that it's not far apart uh, of the expected values. So this device can be useful if you want to measure how much power consume a group of devices. For example, your computer desk, you can connect your computer, your monitors, your printer, and uh, you will see what is the power, for example, on the maximum load. And you can see kilowatt hours, how much energy your devices use. 
So, for example, after a week, after a day, after a month, you can write down this value and you know how much energy your devices use and you are aware of those informations. And additionally, you have a timer. So when the devices don't take any power, the timer doesn't count. So you can also see if you have device that turns on and turns off, you can see how long this device is uh, working. And additionally, you have this power factor so you can see uh, how big the power factor is for each device or for each group of device. So a useful thing that uh, you have just a power strip that you usually need for many things, but additionally you can measure the power, energy and other information about the devices that you connect to this device. And that's all for today. Like, subscribe and be nice.